<laughs> well, hello again. You ever have one of those days that's just long for no reason at all, really? Like, feels like it's never ending. I mean, like, today flew by at work, kind of, but I just kind of feel blah. And because I didn't sleep very well last night, all I want to do is go to sleep. I don't know if I'll be able to fall asleep. Oh, my just help me. So I got the, uh, I published my Tale of the Dragon footage from the roof of my girlfriend's cage, her Fiat. So that, that, uh, that trip was awesome. I mean... Going out there for a three-day holiday weekend is, is like the, the perfect setup. Um, if we could have left on Friday night, would have been a little bit better, or Friday during the day, but girlfriend had to work Friday night till 11, so uh, it's fine. We left super early Saturday, spent some time in Nashville, and then we... Uh, Spent about four hours in Nashville, got some donuts for breakfast at 8 a.m. Explored the city a bit, went by a Harley dealer just waiting for uh, some time to pass. And then after that, we went to the antique archaeology store. Uh, it's the, the store owned by the guys who have the American Picker Show on the Discovery Channel. Uh, I think you guys can see it overseas, those of you not in the States watching this. Um, it's a pretty interesting show. They're always going out and finding old crap in barns and stuff. I was a little disappointed by their store though, because uh, they didn't really have any real stuff to buy. I, I went in, I mean, they're both car guys and bike guys. I mean, you know, they're always finding old stuff. So I went in expecting to maybe find some old Triumph or BMW stuff, something like that. Everything they had there, like the cheapest thing was like 300 bones. And that's not really what I was looking at. And that was just like a stupid sign. So. Didn't get anything. I bought a t-shirt. That's what everybody else is buying. T-shirts and signs and silly little souvenirs. That's all it is really. It's just a souvenir. A giant souvenir store. Which is not even that big. But the place is in an old Marathon Automobiles uh, old plant. It was an absolutely beautiful trip. So you gotta stand in line to get in that place. You know, everybody's uh, like, uh, like a TV dork, so you got all the people waiting in line to get into this store just so you can walk through and say you went there, which is honestly why, why I went. I mean, the girlfriend went. And then I thought, you know, maybe I'll actually buy something from them. That'd be cool. It was useless. But, so, that was Nashville. Uh, at about 11.30, we hit the road again to finish up our trip to uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We were able to hit that up on Saturday before we went to the hotel, which is nice. We, hit, uh, we, we just slowly cruised through the uh, National Park, went up to the highest point in the park, which is 6,100 foot above sea level at uh, Klingman's Dome, a real cool view. So we did that and then, I want to say uh, that's about the time we started heading back because we were getting hungry, we needed some dinner. Now what's funny about that is, you know, we were just going to do like picnics and keep it cheap and everything like that. Didn't work. You know, after a long day of driving and sightseeing and shit, we were both hungry as can be. And so we went to the Hard Rock Cafe, spent like 60 bucks on dinner, but it was great food. What the hell? And then Sunday morning, first thing, we slept in a little bit. I think we slept till like nine o'clock, something like that. And, uh, we hit the road, we were about an hour and 30 minutes away from Tale of the Dragon. So, 
plugged it in the GPS. GPS wanted to take us some stupid route that was all highway, so I said screw it, and we went back through the national park down uh, the east, the west side of the mountain down south. Actually met up with uh, US 129, which is what the Tale of the Dragon is part of. Uh, met up with it probably about five miles outside of where the Tale of the Dragon starts. And that is just a beautiful scene right there coming along the uh, the river, the Tennessee River right right along that, that stretch of 129 is just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, the Tale of the Dragon, absolutely amazing. 318 corners in 11 miles. Uh, totally worth it. You don't see a lot of sport bikes out there, which kind of surprised me, but then again, it makes sense because most people who have sport bikes, kind of my age group, they're not really into touring, can't get the time off work, stuff like that. And you're not really going to want to tour on a sport bike. And then loading up the, um, loading the bikes up on a trailer, not all that fun either. So, I can understand it. So that was cool. A ton of Harleys. I met a guy from Sweden. He was, he was riding the Dragon and it just started pouring like crazy. And so we had to pull off as well because I mean it was getting bad enough for it was kind of hard to see. So we pulled off right behind him and I saw this poor guy standing underneath this little sapling tree. Uh, full leathers just freezing his ass off and I felt bad you know because we're in this dry car and he's out there freezing his ass off. Couldn't really offer him a seat because we're in a Fiat 500. And I remembered I had an umbrella in the back. So I got out and I ran up and I gave this guy an umbrella. <laughs> And he was like, in my 30 years of riding, I've never met anybody who stopped and given me an umbrella. And I've been stuck in the rain on my bike. It sucks. So the least I could do was offer the guy an umbrella uh, while it was raining. Rain lasted about five minutes. It wasn't too long. And so, I talked to the guy for a little bit. He, uh... He was on a rental NC700X, uh, but he was he was wishing he had his uh, ZX10R from home back in Sweden. He was like, I really missed that bike on this road. That would have been amazing. So we chatted for a bit, but his uh, his group of buddies had pulled off before he had, and they went by us. So he had to hop back on his bike and hit the road again. So we did. Uh, Oh yeah, and we had to stop and help a guy who dropped his fire blade. He had low sighted and couldn't get it to start again. So then my girlfriend got to drive the Hill of the Dragon. She drove back up the mountain, or more down the mountain. So that was a real fun trip. So we drove the Dragon three times, and then we went into the Cherahala Skyway. Cherahala Skyway is a long winding road through the Cherokee Forest and also the Nantahala Forest awesome road. Uh, I'm not going to say it's better than the Tale of the Dragon. It'll actually probably be a little more fun on a bike because there's a lot of long sweepers. You can carry a lot more speed. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. And that road, like Tale of the Dragon took about 35 minutes each time. Uh, 35 minutes one way. And then we stopped and ate. Uh, if you go there, I highly advise you buy stuff from each of the stores. You got two little stores down there, and they both have phenomenal merchandise. Definitely, you know, be a patron of the local guys who keep that road what it is. Those are the companies that sponsor the road. They have the photographers on the road that shoot. Uh, they get some awesome shots and some great equipment. So, definitely, if you go there, It, you know, buy some stuff at the local store. I'd advise, you know, buy it from both. They're competition, but they're both there to do the same thing. It's not like Walmart and Target. You know, these are little shops owned by real people. I'm all about small business. Uh, I'm actually having a hard time finding exhaust for my, uh, my S1000. 
because I, I'm trying to find Hindle. I've got Hindle exhaust on my VMAX and absolutely love it. Hindle makes a great system for this thing as well. But it's hard to find distri uh, distributors for Hindle exhaust. So kind of going through that. But Terra Dragon, Terra Hollow Skyway, an amazing trip. Absolutely yeah, amazing. Monday morning, Labor Day, we hit the road about 4 a.m. Maybe, well, maybe closer to about 5. Either way, hit the road early. Drove, drove straight back here to St. Louis. But yeah, so that was my uh, Tale of the Dragon trip that I took on Labor Day weekend in a nutshell. Uh, Anyway, so that was it. Ah, low fuel, low fuel, get fuel now, fuel now, you idiot. Gas is going to get more expensive. Don't get gas now, it's going to go up.